a stone is thrown at 10 meters per second, 30 degrees above the horizontal, from the edge of a cliff. The stone lands 52 meters away from the base of the cliff. How high is the cliff? Again, we start with this chart separating the horizontal and vertical motion. To find the initial velocities, horizontal and vertical components, we make this rectangle. So that the slanted 10 meters per second fits exactly in the diagonal of this rectangle. The horizontal component is the VOX, which is adjacent to the angle, so it's the adjacent side which is the hypotenuse 10 times the cosine 30 degrees, which gives you 8.66. The vertical component is the same as the side that's opposite to the angle. So this is the VOY, and that will be the sine component. That's the 10 times the sine 30 degrees, which gives us the 5. So the horizontal component of the initial velocity is 8.66. The vertical component is 5. For the vertical side, of course, we also know that the acceleration is negative g. I'm just going to round it to 10 again. We know that the projectile lands 52 meters away from the base of the cliff. So 52 meters, that's the horizontal displacement. You're looking for the height of the cliff so we're looking for delta y. For the vertical direction, in order to find the delta y, we need to know three things. We know these two, but we don't have the third thing. The only way to find the third thing to use to find delta y is uh, to go to the horizontal side. And the only thing you can get from the other side is uh, the time, because the two sides have different everything except for the time. So we will be able to find the time from the horizontal side to use for here. So let's go find the time on the horizontal side. On the horizontal side, the only equation we use is uh, delta x equals to v times t. So delta x is 52, and uh, velocity is 8.66. So this will give you the time that is uh, 6 seconds. So we use it over here. We know these three things no final velocity involved. So this equation can be convenient. Okay, so this is 5 times 6 plus 1 half a t squared. And this gives us 30 minus 180, which is negative 150 meters. It makes sense for the delta y to be a negative number because the projectile lands lower than its starting height. So its vertical displacement is a downward displacement. But of course, for the height of the cliff, it will just be 150 meters. Just drop the negative sign, and there you have the height. As you can see, on the vertical side, the motion is exactly the same as uh, an object that's shot straight up with a positive 5 initial velocity. It goes up and then down. Six seconds later, it reaches a position that is uh, 150 meters below its starting height. Now, if a projectile goes like this and then lands higher. In this case, the delta y would be what kind of number? The delta y would be a positive number because it lands higher. The vertical displacement is an upward vector.